Alright guys, so I'm going to be explaining two classes now. One of them is parallel transition and we have a sequence transition. And what are the difference between and why we need them. So in the applications, I have this rectangle rect. I set the position of that, size of the rectangle. I will set the arc height to 50-50 and then color to violet. And then I set the duration. Instead of setting a duration for each of these, I just set that duration on the top and make a variable for duration and then I set that duration into every transition. So we have one, two, three and four transitions. So let's say fade transition is there, translate transition is there, we're just going to take that rectangle towards this uh, set from one uh, minus 100 up to set to X. So these are two transitions here. And then we have a rotate transition and scale transition, right? So we are going to learn about parallel transition first. So what is a parallel transition? As the name suggests, it's going to run all these transition at the same time. So as you can see that I don't have a play transition method or any of these transition. So we use this just let's say in the previous videos I've shown you that after you dot play, you need to add that method to that object of fade transition to play that transition. But instead of just putting that there, what we can do, we can use the parallel transition class. So let's just use this parallel transition class. And then we can say PT is equal to new parallel transition. And here we're going to set node and our transition. So the node is erect, that's the first parameter here. And then we're gonna add all the uh, transitions we need to play. So type FT, comma t t r t comma s t so these are all the transition we need to play and then we can just simply say pt dot play all right and now it's going to run this uh parallelly done all of these transitions in parallel so let's just play the application and as you can see that it's playing all the transitions at the same time Okay, so that's one is a parallel transition. It's really cool that you don't have to set the play and then you can just make a parallel transition class and play them all at once. Now let's just get rid of them. Sometimes you have made few transitions of uh, on the object, such as rectangle here we have, right? Sometimes you want to play this transition first and then that transition at last. So what we can do, we have a class in Java FX.animation package called sequential. So sequential transition. I'm going to name it SQ or ST, whatever. So let's just say SQ. Alright, and then is equal to new sequential transition. Now the same, we can select the fourth option and we can pass over node, which is a rectangle, and then we're gonna pass in the transition we want to play in a sequence. So I want to play a scale transition first. So I'll just pass in that ST object, comma. And then second transition I want to play is FT, fade transition, comma. And the third one, RT, comma, TT. Okay, so we have passed in all the transition we want to play in a sequence. So what it will do, it will play this ST transition first, then FT transition, RT and TT transition. So we can just say sq.play. And now if I run my application, you will see the transition applying the first one scale. And then we have uh, FT, now fade, yep, yeah, fade transition. And then after fade transition, we will have whatever was it. So whatever the transition was there. So this is playing a sequence transition. All right, so this is a cool class. So you can set up which transition you want to play or which transition you want to you want to play at last or first or whatever. This is going to follow this sequence. So now let's talk about something like path transition. If I take you back to Java documentation, we have this path document uh, path transition class as well. It's here. Yeah, that's the one. So we have to create a path and then we can pass in this path transition and then the object will follow the path and make the animation. So that's what I'm gonna teach you in the next video. So, all right, so thanks for watching and subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.